P.F. Chang's Chicken Pad Thai. So I was going to cook something up for myself, but I forgot that thawing is a thing that you've got to do. So instead, we're making this microwave meal. Instructions on the side, nutrition on the back. Let's take a look at the nutrition. 350 calories, 15% for total fat, 8% saturated, 13% for cholesterol, 43% for sodium. Really packing the sodium. <laughs> really packing. 17% for carbs, 14% for diet hairy fiber, 18% for added sugar, and 16 grams of protein. Overall, I'm gonna say questionable in terms of health. I mean, it looks like it's got some vegetables, so it's got that going for it. Not great in terms of sodium especially, but microwave meals, what are you gonna do? Let's take a look at the directions here. So we've got microwave on high, four to five and a half minutes. No need to vent film. Stir carefully and then check that food is thoroughly cooked. Does anybody do this? Does anybody actually check that food is thoroughly cooked? I did that in like one burrito video, but I don't think I have ever checked this on a microwave meal outside of that. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Well, that didn't tear very well, but tore enough. Okay, so what do we got here? We got, uh, looks like chicken, a lot of chicken. We got a few vegetables and whatnot, uh, some noodles, some big mushroom looking things, I think. Overall, not bad. I can't believe you don't need to vent this. Well, travel with me to the microwave and we shall begin cooking. We doth arrive at the microwave. It was like four minutes and 30 seconds, I think. Hopefully that's right. So we gotta do time cook. Four, 30, start. All right, I'll be back when it's done. All right, it's over. It's beeped. All right, let's see. It's very hot, looks, Okay, about the same. Let's strategically place the plate here. Oh, is this gonna fall over? What? Whew. All right, cool. Now, we gotta take this off. Come on. It's stuck. Boom. Got it. All right. Now, we've gotta stir this up. Let's stir, stir, stir. All right, I think it's been stirred enough. I stirred it for like a whole 10 seconds. Back to the computer. We've got the finished product here. Looks okay. Very hot. Uh, that's to be expected though. Smells pretty good. Smells kind of mushroomy and it's almost fruity. I, it's not quite fruity, but it's almost fruity. D I don't know, weird. It's time. For me to take, I don't know actually if it is time for me to take a bite because it is really steaming and I'm scared. Oh well, oh well, I gotta get over my fears. Burn my tongue for science. Whew. Whew. Very hot. Hot. Oh, I was. Whew. I wasn't expecting that to hit me with the actual spice. It says the spice level is two here. It feels a little above a two. Maybe I have just gotten weak and fairly spicy. <laughs> fairly spicy indeed. Okay, I think actually the spicy was that I got a whole bunch of the noodles with sauce and that's where all the spice is. Everything else sort of works to dampen it. I'm also not sure that these were actually mushrooms or if they're potatoes. Uh, maybe they're mushrooms. Definitely not potatoes. What on earth was I thinking? They're mushrooms. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Let's get uh, one more bite here. I like it. I give it an eight out of 10. It tastes pretty good. The noodles are good. I don't know how to describe them other than like every other pasta noodle, but they are rice noodles, not wheat noodles. So they got that sort of thing going on. Everything else tastes okay too. 
The carrots and chicken and whatnot are fine. I'm not really a, a fan of mushrooms. I like I'll eat them and it's not like that bad, but I, I'm not not <laughs> not really a fan. Now I think the big thing that makes this dish interesting is the sauce. The sauce is uh, pretty watery. It covers uh, most stuff and it's spicy. It's also kind of sweet. I think that's where all the sh added sugar is coming in, which is uh, probably also why it kind of smells very slightly fruity. What on earth is that? Well, it, it has a slight bit of lime juice, but I don't know that that's enough to say what I'm smelling. Maybe as a Florida boy, I have attuned my nose to, uh, to pick out citrus. Anyway, overall, yeah, like eight out of 10. I like it. I think uh, something like this could push into the nine or 10 out of 10 territory, but I think uh, it would require like some flavors that I really like rather than vegetables. Ew. Probably, I don't know, like uh, peanuts or something. I do like this a lot. Would make again, eight out of 10. Welcome to the outro, my dudes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But wait, I'm lying. This isn't really the outro. So while editing, I noticed that the review pattern for this uh, meal was strange. A lot of people liked it a lot. A lot of people didn't like it. I, of course, landed on the liked it a lot. I was looking at the reviews and it seems like one of the big things is that it's a lot hotter than people think. And so I feel a lot less bad about saying that like two spice level was like, like look, it surprised me. It was hot. Now, after that first initial bite, it wasn't really that hot. But <laughs> that first going in there, I was maybe expecting a little bit of like uh, capsaicin, but it, it hit a lot harder than I thought it would. But this guy also brings up a good point that it's got uh, cilantro, colantro, whatever, however you say that. And uh, a lot of people really don't like that. I think it's like some genetic thing or something. And so there's a, a lot of people who, who think it's gross in general. This also, you can see it on the Google reviews here, which are uh, a little harsher. So yeah, just be aware, <laughs> if you buy this, there's a chance you will really not like it. It's, it looks like it, well, on this, it looks like a two out of three chance. On this, it looks more like a 50-50-ish a of uh, you like it or not. And of course, there's the, the people in between. But yeah, I just thought this was interesting and worth adding to the video. Thank you for watching. See ya.